Obviously, when you're nervous, you want to kind of prepare a lot. And, and you know, I had the playlists and the mood boards and, and I watched a bunch of musicals and this and that. But I think it all came down to relaxing and being present and having fun. I have to make a life for myself. I saw one of my signature dresses. Soon everyone will know my name. Hola, mi tu familia. I am here with the princesas of the princesas, Camila and Idina. Hello. How are you? Oh, what an exciting intro. I yes. love it. Oh, I mean, I'm excited. What can I tell you? I mean, Camila, listen, as a Latina, we're so excited to see you play Cinderella. Um, I feel like this is a story we all know and we love, but at the same time, I feel like it's going to be completely new and original. So what are you both excited for the audience to see in this new rendition of Cinderella? Dang, everything. I mean, I definitely, obviously there's a lot of representation and, and inclusivity in this movie. Billy Porter playing the fabulous godmother and, you know, his character existing kind of out of the kind of gender binary, just the messages of empowerment and feminism and just like depth in the movie, I think is something that like no uh, reimagined Cinderella has, has had before. So I think it's, um, I'm really excited for people to see it and for people to talk about it. I'm and- excited for people to see her performance. She's, uh, I, it, I guess it was her debut performance on film, but you would never know it. She's like a total rock star. She's gorgeous and funny and charming and lights up the screen. She's dancing and singing and bringing you to tears and casting whatever talent is what it's really all about. Well, I agree about the casting. (laughs) Camila, we get to see you take on a different adventure in Cinderella. How did you prepare for this role and how has it been different than anything you've done in the past? Um, I feel like in the beginning, I prepared by, I worked with my acting coach who you met, Anthony Mindel, who is amazing. Um, shout out to him and get his books because they're really good. Oh. Um, yeah, they're really good. We worked together a lot, um, but he's, his message is like, you know, obviously when you're nervous, you want to kind of prepare a lot. And, and you know, I had the playlist and the mood boards and, and I watched a bunch of musicals and this and that, but I think it all came down to uh, relaxing and being present and having fun. It's frustrating for like in the beginning when you're nervous because you're like, dang, what more can I do to like, you know, do a great job. But I think that something that Anthony teaches a lot is just that it's about just being in the moment. And that's like kind of, yeah, that's the all you can really camera do. Catching that. <laughs> yeah, and totally. her and that vulnerability and all that stuff that she and I can relate to because it doesn't matter yeah. whether it's your first uh, experience or or for me a couple later, it's you still have neuroses, you're still worried about just being received well, you want to be good at what you do. And um, I know I get anxiety about all of these things and how much, you know, can you allow all that vulnerability to to be seen and, and what you do to sort of hide that and then that's probably when you're not doing a great job 100%. so um yeah it's the willingness to to you have to be uh it's good for you to be nervous yeah. and fearful but then you have to still take that step closer totally um to jumping off and and then when you do that you feel really free well thank you so much both of you we're really so excited to see you in cinderella les mando mwah, muchos besitos de miami bye miami. <laughs> They're glass. Any way you can make them more comfortable. No. But you just did a whole thing. Even magic has its limits.